This tutorial is about why a fake source. What do we mean by that? Sometimes we are circuits with no explicit sources in there, but circuits that have energy stored in capacitors and in inductors, so voltages and currents will not be zero. In those cases, we introduce the concept of a fake source. In mathematics, we used to divide and multiply a fraction by the same number, which was an operation apparently futile. However, that operation apparently futile produced some useful results, like multiplying 7 over root 5 and divide at the same time by root 5. That produced a number with no square roots in the denominator. Well, in circuit analysis, we do something similar. Let's see. If we have a circuit with no sources, the final steady state response is going to be zero. What are the currents and voltages, let's say, in a circuit like this one? Hmm, no sources, eh? Well, if we use them in A, but we are interested in writing the equations in this case, yeah. The KCL equation for this one, so you see voltage of the reference, 0 minus V1 divided by 2 plus 3, that is this current, equals to V1 over 4 plus V1 divided by 5 plus 7. That is fine, but when we solve for V1, we get 0, which is right. The voltage is 0. That is fine there. But in the circuit, in P impedances, with no sources, when we solve for any voltage of current, let's say mm, V1 in this case, we also obtain a zero instead of a heavy side differential equation. You say, but shouldn't you get a zero? No, not necessarily, because if there is energy stored in this capacitor or in this inductor or in both, that voltage will eventually will be zero, but it will not start as zero. We need a differential equation. How do we deal with this? Let's see. If I write KCL equation just like that, the first term is still zero minus V1 over two plus three equals to the current in the middle branch, V1 over the impedance of the capacitor, plus the right-hand side, V1 divided by 5 in series with 7P. If we solve that for V1, we get 0. We don't get a differential equation. How are we going to do this? Well, we introduce a fake source. What type of fake source? A V source? An I source? Either. You choose one that will not make you work more. Where do you connect it? Well, a current source you can connect anywhere. A V source in any existing branch. But I prefer to connect them like this, actually. If it's a fake V source, connect that in any branch, as I said before. If it's a current source, connect that between the reference and any existing true node. Better with examples, right? Well, let's use a fake voltage source in any branch, in the same circuit we had before, this one. In this branch on the left, I have included a fake voltage source with a value F. And we write a KCL equation for node 1. The first current is going to be F minus V1 divided by 2 plus 3. The rest of the currents are the same, we solve for V1, and this is what we get. This is a differential equation with those three coefficients on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, we have 7 times the derivative of F plus 5 times F. That is the right-hand side of the differential equation. Of course, in our case, this is fake. This voltage source value have to be a 0, and 0 here means that 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 nulls the right-hand side of the differential equation, and this is the differential equation with the voltage V1. See how we used a fake voltage source 
to find a differential equation in a circuit that has no actual source, we include that fake V source, find the differential equation, and then make F equal to zero. But I said we could do that also with current sources. Let's do that. With the current source, the same circuit, but this time we have added a fake source between the reference node and node 1. As I said, I would write a KCL equation, current going in F plus negative V1 over 2 plus 3 equals to the other two currents, which are the same as before. We solve for V1, and this is what we get. No surprise. A differential equation with those three coefficients and on the right hand side we have 35 the derivative of f plus 25 f but f is a fake source so this current actually is zero in here so I make this zero and the differential equation to find v1 is the same we obtained before that is the way I use fake sources it's not zero, huh? No, it's not zero. If the energy in capacitors and inductors is not zero. This is the equation. The characteristic equation is this one. We solve that and find the two eigenvalues, which, which are real and different. So the system is overdamped. And the response, the voltage V1, looks like the sum of two exponentials. What about plus K3? Well, K3 in this case is zero, see? See this zero here? That is zero. Thank you very much.